Hey, what's good? It's Young Honey. I'm at my parents' house for a few weeks, so we're gonna be doing a couple Let's Plays because I still wanna get some content out there. I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into this bad boy. First, as always, here's some mental health resources. I love y'all. Let's get into it. Yo, what is good? It is Young Honey. We, uh, we just got this recording started. So, we're doing Mind Level 2 for Joseph Seeds DLC on Far Cry 6. And I, oh, we, we, oh shit, we low key in a good spot. How do I not have the glass gadgets hockey? I don't plan on ever dying. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm good here. Oh, jeez. That's why we're in a good spot. I haven't upgraded fucking anything. Big health buff. All right. So, I don't actually know how I want to do this. I'm just... Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll get the hard shit done first. Like, I'll go to the rifle. I'll go to the safe house. Then I'll do, like, the auto pistol, machine gun. Thought the grenade launcher was up here. That's what I meant by the harder stuff. Um. Yeah, fuck it. I'll wrap around this way first. I'll start here. Go. Bing, bing, ba, bing, 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 Bro, I fucking hate the ghosts so much. Like, I don't know, maybe if they didn't sprint, it wouldn't be as much of an issue. I just hate that I have to be cognizant of them. You will not infect others as I have infected you. Stop! I do that. Why bother? Then there are going to be more ghosts running up on my ass from behind. I got motherfuckers over here to deal with. Like... I don't know. And this is the ball, so they're going to make me kill puppies. Ah, uh, just one more. They have to dog wine after you kill them too, like... What the fuck is that? Like, they're, they're trying to make a dude feel badly here. I thought that was a hurt. It wasn't. This will serve me well. Because why, why would I be able to hit that shot? We taking the uh, staying the fuck away from the ghosts. No, it looks like nighttime is almost over. Nine, two, one, 
I will take up the shield of faith and I will extinguish the flaming arrow. How long has this shit been following me? There were multiple? Oh man, my awareness is not great. I, I've been waiting until like literally around this time in the day to start drinking like my energy drink. Just because, I don't know, I read, I read somewhere that if you put off like drinking caffeine, like your cortisol levels, like you become a little bit more normalized. I don't know how much truth there is to that. I'm just noticing that like, of course I get more energy later in the day. I've been feeling fine in the morning. So like, low key, maybe put off like your first cup of coffee, maybe put off a little bit of, uh, you know, whatever you do in the mornings with uh, caffeine. Just for a little bit. Like, you never know. It has been pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, my awareness right now is down. I didn't even notice that there's a flamethrower right there. Come on. Like, that's problematic. You gotta be able to see those things and hear those things. But, again, natural energy feels so much better than my mask and energy with caffeine and shit. Oh, motherfucker. Do it. Spray more fire. Forgive me. If I improved place. my moods. Ooh. That was a little bit of a hard call, but like, being able to carry more syringes is just always going to be huge to me in these games. Um, I'm going in the wrong direction. Let's go clear the safe house. Man, I'm smiling just because I like this grenade launcher a lot more than the single shot grenade launchers in the other DLCs. Like, I think that Joseph's story really comes together here. Like, from, just from a greater context place. Like, I think this explains so much about who the villain is and, like, the story of you know, New Dawn. And I just appreciate that from a writing standpoint. It makes a lot of sense and it comes together well. There are a lot of things that I also don't particularly like about this DLC compared to the Pagan Min one and the Voss one. And so, while it balances out entirely, like... Biggest thing I gotta say is I love being able to do that. Like, <laughs> how much easier that shit is. Just waltz up. Mm -hmm. Let's upgrade some shit. Noble Steed is outside. Okay. I gotta be careful. I was running this motherfucker off of different cliffs earlier in the DLC run through. I think on like my first mine level one, I ran this dude off a cliff twice. Like, that just feels unfair to the horse. Judge, who does he think he's kidding? He ain't catching me on this horse. I'm on a horse, bro. Let's go. And you're on foot. You see that? You see how fucking fast that horse moves? It's been reset. Ah. Okay. 
Red getting time. You will not hurt others on my behalf. Was that two for one? Was that a collateral? That would be super nice if it was. Real effective use of my ammo. If y'all if y'all are aware, I'm big on getting maximum value from things and making sure that I get my utility out of literally fucking everything I use. So when my smoke grenades do work for me, and my poison grenades do work for me, I'll tell you what, I like that. I like that a lot. I just strong armed him like I play a trumpet. Where's my horse? I will use this for good. Hello. What a majestic fella. Oh, it's in the How is it still nighttime? Damn, now I got Diablo stuck in my head. You're within a hundred meters. I think they'll probably stay around there. I don't really need the horse for what's coming up next either. Like these are all fairly close. You are all a cancer spreading, but no more, no longer. don't want to have to heal, but I really don't want to lose a life. I forgot to get that guy. Fuck it. I'm free from my lies and move forward with discernment. Alright, next stop. This is a memory. But which one? My good works are rewarded. I almost just pressed up on my D-pad to call my horse like this was Red Dead. Damn. Loki, I was trying to get some Red Dead footage, but I only have it on the 360, so unless I get an actual, like, old game drive or PBR or some shit like that, like, I wouldn't really be able to do it, and I can't really justify paying for that. Like, these videos, these videos are made for fun for free like 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 it's very clearly not deep and that would just be an investment come on but low key i may do I, I may do a red dead 2 playthrough on here easy now i think that would be fun i saw a little cheesy take our guns take our pay that's what the yeah, says yeah. My book. Ah, my this shame. One. Yeah, this is one of those. This is one of those missions that, like, 
I think does really tie his story together. But also, a lot of it is just so tedious for like no fucking reason. All that I wanted. Like. And this is how it ends? It's not too late. We're starting with Jacob. Child. Listen to me. Look at what bitch it is just to get to him. This looks like. Jacob, are you here? Never thought I'd be asking for your help, but shit. Here we are. Of course. Huh, I suppose I'm I could just run over to that and make life a whole lot easier. I'm a fool. But either way, they pain to get to him. You gotta do fucking parkour for it. Do I look like a parkour man or do I look like a preacher? Does he do parkour? Or does he preach? I think Honestly, it kind of goes. To say about that. He looks like a youth church pastor that whose wife does like graphic design. Like they market it as like a cool church. Maybe that doesn't cross to different religion. That's how my synagogue is like. Their soldiers turning on us. Hunt them, Joseph. Crazy, you can actually save a ton of time in this game by just hitting your shots. You saved me, brother. Just like you said. Thank you. I know this isn't real. I know it. And yet. And yet. I forgive myself. It's funny that, like, I don't know. I think it's important to show that, like, this dude is clearly not rational. He's not, he's not rational from our perspective, but he's rational from his perspective. I... I just think it's fucking hilarious how he's going through his subconscious to justify his actions. It's not how you deal with your problems. You gotta talk to people. Gotta make amends, real apologies, real effort should be put in. Just so you know, you can't just shoot through your entire mind. Is that you? Be a lot cooler if you could. I came to you for a new life, and you promised I'd have it. Bullied, abused, always alone. Until you found me, Father. I don't want to die. Please. Like, see, like... This is all just for one Father. mission. Live with you. And it's... It feels like a lot of exposition. But it also feels like a lot of fighting in one of the memory sequences. And to me, these are meant to be more of, like, the, uh... Sit back, enjoy the story. Kind of deal. And so the fact that they made this one really involved, to me, kind of takes away from it. But again, look at the level design. You're my savior, Joseph. It's like the perfect parallel like to Far Cry 5. Said. Just like, like I absolutely believed. beautiful. My sweet innocent. Like I got some complaints, but like, these are. Move me. This is one of the better DLCs I've played, to be honest. I like the road likes a lot. And I do hope that they continue them. I mean, they like the Wendell Redler DLC, Far Cry 5, like the Vietnam one. That was fun. I was running around throwing bamboo sticks at motherfuckers, which is having a blast. Recording is reset. You're angry. Oh damn. I've been off more than I can chew with that here. But 
Damn, they named that card like Geo. Body odor. That's some great token taste. Maybe COVID really fucked up my taste. There it is. You did it. You know you always saw more than I could. Knew more than I did. We were going to await the collapse together. And you would have saved us all. See? Thank you, John. Like, like, like what Thank I was you. saying, like, it, 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 that's a false reconciliation. It's helping, it's helping Joseph move forward. But amends are not made to John. I still shot him out of the air in Far Cry 5. You know? So what if I did? Don't you get it? They're gonna take you away. No one's gonna be there to protect you now. You won't have... I swear, I wish that games could kind of like scan in your pet so that you could use them as a horse. Like, like, like with my dog hey, Jimmy, so if there was a mod that I could just like ride him around this places, baby, I'd be so fucking baby. happy. But <clears throat> one of the reasons why I like oh, fell in love with Far Cry 6, again. even though like my first He's playthrough, I wasn't rocking with it, like as a game, but like for some reason, like I, I really, I really liked it. One of the big parts Jacob. of that, that separated like gameplay from strong, actual enjoyment Joseph. in an intangible way. Like one of the biggest parts of that was Chorizo. Like Chorizo looks just like my dog, except my dog has both legs. You know? Let me show you that. Like, Let me teach you again. Bro, I fucking really like this. Soldier, you're a scared little like, man. Seeing him first introduced in this game, like, made my fucking life. Like, I held up my dog to the screen, I'm like, Jim, look, it's you. <laughs> Except you have legs. My dog Jim could maybe you fuck the game. Like, here's the thing. We, like, we're from Florida, we go on a lot of hikes. So, we've seen gators in the wild. And Jim, my dog, tries, tries barking at them and tries uh, beefing with them. And I always end up running away in terror, like, like literally picking him up and running away. The opposite direction, because I'm not going to fuck with a gator. My dog is 25 pounds. You know? I don't want him fucking over Gator. But it, it, it's hard to make that call because, like, my dog is a fucking thing. I believe that he could possibly fuck up a Gator. I'm just not gonna risk it. So I hope he's to be a situation. So, like, my dog wouldn't lose his legs like Teresa or anything, but, like, I feel like my dog looks a lot like Teresa. And also low-key acts like Teresa. I just fucking love that. I ain't mad at you, Joseph. I'm not. I'm just doing what I do. I'm just following my instincts. Need that extra penance, you already know what I'm talking about. Damn, I was just rambling about my dog for a minute. I fucking love that. I was about to call him, I, like, I was about to be like, I fucking love that thing, but that's my boy. Jim and I are boys. Gun, 
We'll do act of faith. Then we'll get the safe house. <clears throat> Graven image, go from there. Do the launcher. Oh man, we're making good progress. It's only been 25 like fucking minutes. Huh? Guess I deserved it, huh? Never thought I'd make it out alive anyway, but <laughs> shit. I'm getting effective fun again. At last. We were saving lives, Jacob. Saving the Bring world. out the old shoulders a little bit. I'm doing well. Look at me. Look at me. I am the... I am the predator now. Everything I touch must be cleansed. Including you! I'm the predator. Be free. My energy drink be kicking in. I'm the predator, Marie. Marie was married to minerals, Hank. Why am I spacing them? Either way, I'm the danger. I'm the predator. Not the ghosts, not my followers. I'm the predator. The apex. My flock! Too far gone! Now you are a plague! So the fact that I could do that within the span of one verse. I'm the predator! Also, shameless plug, go check out go go check out the song Clockwork off the yin and yang tape I did with Land Party. We fucking snapped on that freestyle. I think Graven Image is my least favorite memory. <clears throat> Just because of what a pain in the ass it is to climb up that statue. For good. You know? Like, I've fallen off that shit before. You survived the drop, like, you can even you can your parachute. You gotta reset the whole fucking mission. Like, who has the time? Ooh, I should reset my game clock. Recording reset. I don't like to say recording reset until I quite literally see the recording. I like started them. Just because I'm a paranoid bull. I don't actually know how Xbox sets that all up. 
ready to die. Oh. Hey, Dina! This is not you! Ah. You are just... He would have faith in her if she had faith in him! Ah. Hello, fellas. I appreciate your weapon choice. I'm also a fan of the shovel. Sure, you have a hell of a story. I lived in fear of you for so long. Disappearing after that. Yes. Part of your plan was the violence something you hoped for? You won't live! Alright, it looks like they're mainly traveling behind me. Like low key tip. Sometimes auto aim doesn't like fully lock on to the character that I'm in yet. And so if you just kind of let them run into your shit like that, you don't even need to move. Okay? You can just kind of let it happen. Let them fall into your crossing. And it takes out a lot of the stress of aiming. If you're on control aims. You can do the same thing, like same concept on PC. But End of the day. I loved you. I, I don't loved know. You. I feel like we we don't we we, we, we try to do you all these crazy tricks with you controllers, like we all try to elevate in different can. ways. But in reality we can literally just let people walk into our crosshair. I say a lot. Make life easy on yourself. Just do it! Drink the energy drink to put the edge on. Now I'm gonna smoke this pen to take the edge off. throughout Always this story. For my family. I think that was a really well done incorporation of music into a game. I also made a beat sampling it. Go check it out on the page. I I hear a chibi. The feeling. Why am I bothering? I feel like I know it's somewhere up here. I'm not... Frustrating. It's because I don't do that directional sound. Shattered by sin. It's my Torn only damn apart. fault. I will become whole once Not again. I can waste real ammo on these things.
pew pew pew. Father, do you remember? Pew, 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 pew. This is where it all started. This is where I became your faith. Of course, I remember. You had faith in me. We'll do this and I in you. When you found me, I was lost, scared, a victim. And that was exactly what you were looking for, wasn't it? You told me I was beautiful. That I was special. You were. I needed you. So I saved you from yourself. And how? Okay. How did I miss that? Fucking nowhere that. Faith's story arc just makes me so sad. Like, but you could teach me to be strong. You really used her. Teach me to be like you. Such fucked up ways. You showed me I was full of love, of life. Mm. Mm -hmm. All this strafe jumping. It makes me nervous. That being said, <clears throat> I do remember this being a lot more frustrating. In the beginning, before I tried running away, I wanted to give the world to you. I think that bull dead. I was determined to be your everything, but you already had a faith. Your heart was so full. Faith, that's enough. Where are we going? Oh. Let's have fun with this one. So when you took me up here with her, when you told me to have faith in you, I knew that if I wanted to be with you, I, I had to do it. See, like, he really used her at every opportunity. That just makes me fucking sad. Like, hmm. Um. That being said, Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you got any Let's Play recommendations for the future. I would really love to continue doing this kind of stuff. I have a ton of fun with it. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.